Today's video is all about this microphone. It's a Shure SM94. It's a small diaphragm condenser mic, and I actually have two. Um, don't know how that happened. I just seen a bargain and I grabbed two. That's what I do. I'm just kind of a degenerate and I just see things. I go, ooh, that looks nice. I think I'll have two, even though I only need one. But moving on from my spending stupidity, and Shure is, of course, a very popular brand in microphones. Now, these are instrument mics, so I'm quite curious to hear what one of these... I don't need to use two, do I? Two, maybe? No, I'll use one. One of these microphones on my saxophone to see what it sounds like. So let's just get stuck into it. I'll do some scales, I'll do some noodling, and then I'll see you after the demo. So there you go, people, you've just heard this Shure SM94, and yes, I have two. So maybe one day I'll do a video in a stereo pair to see what that sounds like, because that's going to be quite interesting, I think. Or maybe I'll do a combination of a large diaphragm and a small diaphragm as a stereo pair. Who knows? You never know where this saxophone recording journey is going to go. But this microphone, what I found is, like all small diaphragm condensers, they have a lovely detail and I felt the urge just to play a little bit softer on this one. That's why I said that on the video. I just felt inspired to play really soft because this had this sort of like almost whispery sort of sound in the tone. So this microphone is a nice microphone. Sure, of course, have very good products. And again, not sponsored by them. So if you look out for one of these microphones, I'm sure you can pick up, no pun intended, a bargain. I think it's a very nice microphone and it's definitely a great microphone for a budget condenser mic, especially a small diaphragm condenser. And if this microphone has inspired you to get one of these, well that's great. Just look online, you'll definitely pick up one of these for a good price. 
and it's going to get you started off into the land of small diaphragm condenser mics and recording your saxophone. And if this video has been of help for you, that's wonderful. I just want to try and inspire because I'm getting inspired myself by doing this recording process. And this microphone journey has really helped me develop as a saxophone player and I think as a human in general. But that's just my view on the thing. And if this video has helped you, well, I'd like it if you can give me a thumbs up because that really helps me. I just feel inspired by you lot. And that means I'll be pumping out more of these videos. And I want to say thank you very much for taking the time. And I will see you on the next video.